welcome to another video and uh, yesterday I decided to do well to try some um, uh, power snatches to a full squat or like an overhead squat I also want to increase my shoulder mobility because it is absolute dog shit uh, we chose to go into the that's like the gymnastics area of the room of the gym where they usually got like old ladies and kids uh, doing that, uh, some jumping around and playing, you know, you can see behind there's that there's a little toy plate that they're using. Uh, I put some of these toy plates under my feet, but they were quite high, quite high. What you see in here is one of the very few times that I managed to do a full uh, squat with the bar uh, pressed overhead, which is mobility wise it was really really fucking hard uh the weight is not hard I think i've done a power snatch with 70 70 kg i never really tried to max it out i'm not an expert on on power snatches or any other variation of the snatches or uh, or the snatch or the clean and jerk i uh, i just happen to be a huge fan of olympic weightlifting being greek of course it was always on tv and shit and and also strongman aside from the fact that powerlifting is my chosen sport I'm a big sports and strength sports uh, fan, so, you know, I'm also a fucking strength coach, so I think it's important to implement various uh, movements into your training. Uh, like I say to the idiots in my gym, I am not a powerlifting coach, I am a strength coach that just loves to fucking powerlift, you know what I mean, right? Anyway, <clears throat> so the ground was quite soft and very uneven. Uh, the ground was tilted towards the camera. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not making this up at all. You will see the difference. You see how I'm tilting towards our left as I'm watching this, looking at the screen. But uh, like it's, it was fucking terrible. And you will see it when we go inside. I think it was like three or four. Yeah, it's it's coming up. And you will see the uh, videos right here. The ground, it's still a bit tilted. I mean, this gym is like built very unevenly. But uh, you will see here the ground is a more solid and it's a little bit um, a more uh, flat, I guess. So you will see the motion, the movement immediately looks a little bit better. I also use those 2.5 kilogram plates that are slightly skinnier than the other ones. The other ones were too thick and they were forcing me forward quite a lot. But you can still see the issues and I really enjoy this type of videos because I can expose my weaknesses as much as I'd like to expose my strengths. Uh, you can see my right leg, I guess that's our left leg from watching me from here. Uh, the mobility is normal. My left leg has a broken uh, ankle. I broke my ankle in 2008 doing pancreas or pancreation or the ancient Greek martial art. Uh, somebody got me in a leg lock and I broke my ankle. I generally did. They took a little bit of bone out and of course, <clears throat> the bone, despite the fact that I did physiotherapy and all that shit, uh, the bone, of course, got thicker and had to, I guess, overcompensate. So my gait is not as as perfect as it should be. I don't walk as normally as I, as I can. My right leg definitely functions better than my left leg. So it may not be a surprise that I got all these uh, spinal issues because, I mean, there's instabilities, you know, so... There are other things I have to work with. So when I hear people like, oh, it's hard to fucking squat, I got all the reasons not to be squatting, and I'm still fucking squatting, so shut the fuck up and squat, you know. Uh, next, up, uh, next up, I moved uh, to a crossover, the Xerxes squat, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, it's something I've done a couple more times, and I really enjoyed it. My erectors are fucked up. Uh, it comes out of vectors. You can see it's, the, the cable is a little bit diagonal. It's not straight coming coming straight from, from the ground. And it is insane on your fucking erectors. Uh, a little bit of traps and, and uh, shoulder blades, but mostly erector work because I'm trying to balance it because somebody's pulling you forward. And I'm trying to sit... At, uh, I'm not trying to sit back. I'm trying to sit down as straight as possible. Imitating like if it would be a belt squat or something like that or a front squat or a zirker squat the, the I'm using the whole machine. It's not that heavy, but you know doing it for repetitions man I burned myself out that last that third set I think I said sets of eight or nine or whatever um, That was that was physical I'll tell you that much and this is supposed to be my deload week And I think the last thing I did this week was deload. I kind of maxed out on the shoulders uh, and stuff like that but uh, I guess my volume, my training volume was about half of my usual volume, so I, you know, I hope to be recovered by 
next Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever the gym is open again, because we got a fucking bench. I'm competing in a month. I tried to do some standing side twists, side whatever you call those cross chops, I think they're called, something like that. Uh, but the cable was uh, too low. They fixed that cable and it's a, lot, a little bit lower than it used to be. And I'm using the stupid rope, which makes me holding it even lower. So I should have, I actually got a straight handle afterwards, which was about my height, my eye level. And I managed to bend and twist to the side a little bit better. But I, I, it looks like shit, I know, but you know. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Thank you.